developing this evening. A teenager is behind bars after police say he shot a girl in the back in South Tampa. It happened last Friday at the Arbor Flats Apartments. Police say two teenage girls were fighting before that shooting. The girl hit by a bullet is just 17 years old. 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcido explains how police were able to identify the gunman. Within four days of this shooting, police were able to make an arrest. The shooter just 16 years old. Tampa police say he's facing three felony charges, including second degree attempted murder for shooting a 17 year old girl in the back. It's crazy. It's crazy. You know, it, it really is. A fight almost turns deadly in South Tampa. If we could have just gotten those children into school that day, we would be in a much different position right now. Tampa Police Chief Mary O'Connor says two teenage girls who go to Robinson High School met up for a fight last Friday morning. This fight was actually over a marijuana purchase. Imagine that from uh, teenagers. Detectives say a 17 year old girl was approached by a relative of a 16 year old boy after he got upset about being confronted over trying to purchase marijuana with a fake $100 bill. I don't think anybody knew that it was going to escalate to that. Neighbors reported seeing the group of teens that day. Guy in the black mask, he, he had a gun uh, in his. I, I can't say it was a gun, but he had his hand in his pocket like this. Police say the teen was wearing a ski mask when he pulled out a gun and shot the 17 year old in the back. Nine millimeter shell casings were left behind. The suspect's mother was very cooperative, obviously, since her son is going down the very wrong path and they let the detectives search her apartment. In the apartment, they found a firearm. The firearm matched the shell casing that was found at the scene of the shooting. Tonight, the 17 year old girl shot is still in the hospital. Several surgeries later, police say she should be OK. I'm very confident that she's going to survive. Angie, I'm, I am glad, Angie, that uh, she's going to be OK. You said the kids all went to Robinson High School. Has the district said anything about this? Well, Dave, Robinson High School is just across the street here, and the district has confirmed that all of the students involved here do go to Robinson High School. They sent us a statement saying they're disappointed in the senseless violence that occurred off campus last week. While students on campus weren't in any danger, they're asking the community to work together so that kids can make smarter choices. In Tampa, Angelina Salcido, 10 Tampa Bay.